So I don't like to waste your time. So, and I will attach to the chat box my presentation. If it's okay to you to see this editing format. Sure. And you can narrow mm -hmm. down the left side where the slides are and then. Uh, yes. Okay. So this big. Let's have done with it. Okay, so let's continue. Sorry for this technical problems. So on the first slide, you can see the different uh, project in the Hungarian research because we had the, the pilot project by the with the Roma cultural influencers. Uh, we asked the several um, young women, Roma women, to to participate on our uh, influencer training to develop uh, or. Uh, educate some professional influencers to communicate their heritage, uh, their specific uh, Roma uh, uh, heritage. But we had uh, some uh, teacher trainings. And because I was responsible, I was a research assistant in the Hungarian project that I could, I could participate in, in the different projects. But I was in this time uh, the museum educator in the Ludwig Museum. Now I'd like to focus on our experiences in the museum learnings. On the next slide, you, you can see very briefly our goals and key questions during the research. So basically, we like to find new ways. How could the, the teachers and museum educators and how could school and museums cooperate in a deeper level? Because normally, um, teachers ask uh, from the museum educators some special museum educational programs. But we have no information uh, about the knowledge and the physical status of the of the kids before the program, and there is no possibility to follow up the uh, the 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 effect of the uh, of the collaboration or the museum educational program. We use the triangulic triangulical uh, methodology. And we try to uh, develop a collaborative environment uh, between the teacher and the students uh, in the in the museum spaces, uh, where we can learn from each other and we can create a common knowledge about not just about the contemporary art, but better about uh, the traumas of the everyday life. Uh, in the Hungarian Amas project, uh, participated to these two museums with the different uh, collections and focuses. Uh, as I mentioned, I worked in the Ludwig Museum. We have a fantastic um, uh, collection from the 60s, uh, but uh, the con with contemporary art production from the Middle Center European Art Scheme. And we worked with the permanent exhibition, the Time Machine. Uh, to uh, to communicate the different problems and traumas of the of the um, everyday life. Uh, in the Hungarian Museum project, uh, participated two schools and one correctional institution. And I used the, the title for this presentation, the museum as a dialogical place, but uh, the motto and the slogan of the Hungarian research could be be resilient because just the almost 50% uh, of the of the uh, participants and the project was planned before the starting of this one and a half uh, years um, project. Uh, and we had to be resilient, not just because we worked during the pandemia, uh, but because this uh, not planned uh, project. Okay, um, because I have a strong time limit, I just uh, like to underline some key experiences and uh, questions during our project. Um, uh, and yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that you know that uh, learning in the museum uh, can give you extra possibilities and opportunities to develop the skills, especially uh, of the kids with disabilities. In our project, uh, there was students with uh, really um, disabilities, for example, the students who came from the Roma families. But uh, in many times, we had uh, uh, kids uh, with uh, mental uh, illnesses or uh, um, learning disabilities. And in the correctional house, well, it was a special situation. 
I work with the Tandem Secondary Grammar School. It's not a state school. And the kids uh, in this uh, grammar school came, fr came from uh, middle uh, or upper middle classes families. So with a very good financial um, circumstances or, or um, home or, or, you know, the parents have a big salary. But uh, generally, these uh, kids... Uh, the, for these kids, the tandem is the third or fourth grammar school because they have to change uh, time to time the grammar schools because they are certificated or not, still not certificated uh, learning disabilities. And on this uh, program, we worked with uh, the mask uh, or uh, this um, artworks by Arnul Freiner, who worked with these uh, masks. And the quick key question of the program was that uh, we, we wearing masks uh, in our everyday life to save our real emotions, to cover uh, our traumas. But, uh, in the, but, but we, we never realized that we communicate a lot of things with our masks. So we asked the kids to paint and create uh, this um, colorful masks uh, with their current emotions. They can could be happy or boring or sad in many times. And then we projected this colorful masks to the to the uh, face uh, of uh, onto the face of the students. So with this program, we like to um, underline the and motivate the kids to communicate the real emotions. But it, it could be very difficult many times. But it's necessary to to work with uh, with these real uh, emotions. Uh, as I mentioned, we had to be resilient during this program. So, for example, in the case of tand Tandem School, we worked in two uh, semester school semesters uh, with this uh, school, but uh, in this term, in this time, uh, the, uh, it's changed three times the, the, the visual arts teacher, so it was very difficult to uh, start again the collaboration with a different uh, teacher. Yes, the second school who particip participated in our project is the Buratino Primary School. Um, in this school, almost 19% uh, of the students came from a traditional Roma uh, families. And it was very difficult to, to work with these kids because uh, normally their time or focus limit is just 10 minutes to, to one specific uh, task. And for example, they was between 13 and 14 years old. And normally in the Roma families, the girls in this time start to be a mother or um, create a fam own family. So it was very difficult to work with the same kids in, in, in these two uh, semesters. And for example, in this case, that was very difficult to work with the, the teacher because um, for me, um, so it was a very stressful <laughs> uh, uh, collaboration because we could not find the common language and the common goals of the program. Uh, and uh, we did not plan to work with the uh, Josef Attila uh, Primary School, but it was a very hmm, uh, fantastic gift from, from the God to work with them. Uh, it's uh, almost from the ninth district. The name, the the this is the Ferenc Varos, the same district where is located the Ludwig Museum. So the kids uh, was not uh, the the traveling uh, was not difficult uh, to the to the kids, and uh, this uh, partnership was really fantastic. And we was um, planning uh, the all all of the. Um, uh, programs to work uh, with the same structure, with the same question uh, in the different uh, groups, so we could analyze the effect of the same questions and the same program in the different age groups and uh, the, in the different uh, uh, students. Uh, this is a short uh, video about one of the um, of the um, uh, program, where is the word uh, with plaster, 
I think uh, the, the internet cannot help me. So skip the slide and uh, go to the um, Rakos Palata Correctional Institution. This um, place was really special for me because before the Amas, I worked just the blind uh, kids uh, and I'm audio narrated uh, the um, artworks, exhibitions and theatrical scenes. And this was the first time when I had to work not in the museum, but um, better in a close, it's correctional institution is some kind of prison really, because we was closed into one specific room during the one and a half hour uh, program. And uh, we had to call always the guards with Fun uh, to allow me to to go outside the room, so it was a very special situation, and it was, for example, not allowed to carry on with us a computer or uh, more cell phones because uh, the communication is limited in this case to these uh, girls. Um, and uh, there was two part uh, in this uh, project, uh, part uh, partly project um, on the first one month in July, we, we asked the participants to, to copy um, in a special way the, the artworks of uh, outsider female artists. Uh, and in the second part, they uh, the, the possibility to create their own uh, collective uh, paintings. It's just, uh, there's just some, um, examples from their works uh, on the left side and on the right side you can see the final collective oil painting um, just some example uh, on the list of the female outsider female uh, artist for example Amrita Je they, they worked with the artwork of Amrita Shergil who's a half Indian and half Hungarian artist uh, and she moved to India to find uh, her uh, second homeland. So from a national point of view, uh, she, she was very special. And um, for example, the second one, uh, second artist who, who was, um, who, her, her artwork was uh, dedicated to the work is uh, Al Kazowski who was hmm, a very special artist, a homosexual uh, artist who was born in a female body. So, you know, uh, this situation and uh, gender, transgender question was very mm, difficult to these uh, girls who came from a traditional Roma family. From a research point of view, this uh, was a very interesting situation because it was uh, not allowed to take photographs on for example on the face of uh, of the participants because they are, are in some kind of prisons uh, and uh, what we could do just the, the um, limited documentation for example on the uh, left on the top, you can see a photos where we could uh, just uh, document and take a photographs on their hands without any tattoos, for example, because they could not identify well um, on these photographs. And uh, on the left the corner, uh, you can uh, below you can see a pop up exhibition because uh, in this situation, because this um, girls could not. Uh, uh, go to the museum. It was very important to us to create and or or make a pop up exhibition in the Ludwig Museum uh, with their uh, paintings. Uh, so this is the shop window of the museum educational workshop room in the museum. And of course, I sent this photograph to the kids to show that well they are a famous artist in the contemporary art museum. Very briefly about our positive experiences. Uh, before this time, it uh, be uh, in the museum uh, in the Ludwig Museum. We could not participate in an academic research, so this was really a first time to to have this um, experiences and in these possibilities. But we had a lot of uh, difficulties. I like just underline one thing: what I learned from this process. It, it's 
it was really a financial for me because uh, I just realized in second months in our uh, research that I'm perfectly alone. Uh, in 80% in the research, I worked alone in the museum. Uh, of course, my colleague uh, helped me in a teacher training because during this um, research, we could uh, um, make some online uh, half online teacher training for the Hungarian um, visual arts teachers. But uh, on the museum workshops, the museum educational programs, I had to work alone. Uh, just two times during the one year, I could ask our professional video and media designer to take photographs and videos about the program. So it was very difficult to document myself during the, uh, the workshop. Uh, so I think it's very important to first, in the first step, uh, create the whole research design with your colleagues in the museum. Uh, another problem was to, and I think this is the most important in, in this kind of collaboration, to find, uh, how can I say, uh, common uh, present with the teacher and all of the participants. So with the teacher, find the common uh, uh, skills and goals and uh, standards, for example, and and uh, prepare really the students to the to the participation in this project. Of course, we started the uh, the the research with the online presentation and online discussion with the kids uh, about the research program. But I'm pretty sure that during the pandemic, they lost their focus perfectly <laughs> uh, in the online. Um, online spaces. And finally, I'd like to just show you this, um, this um, what can we do in a, if we uh, gain against the possibility to participate in this kind of uh, research, the follow-up and the sustainability. Follow-up because we worked with the finalists in the primary and secondary schools, so we had no chance to, to follow up the uh, effect of the museum educational program and the sustainability. Uh, I just mentioned that because I changed my workplace in in the uh, in 2022, so I'm not sure that uh, my colleague could uh, continue this program um, except of the online teacher training. And I just like to underline the importance of the virtual exhibitions and the online museum educational programs. Um, here you can click uh, on the virtual exhibitions of the AMAS project in Mata and uh, Rovaniemi. And uh, on the right, you can see a screenshot uh, on virtual exhibition of the Time Machine exhibition in the Ludwig Museum. It was very important to, to us to, or to me, uh, to share this uh, online exhibition with the students to, to have a opportunity to, to visit time and time in a virtual space, the, the exhibition that we, we worked. And yeah, it was my presentation, <laughs> very briefly. Uh, so if you have uh, any question, I'm happy if I can uh, answer you. And uh, please contact me via these uh, emails if you have more questions about the Hungarian Anonymous Project. Thank you. <laughs>